Hello and welcome to Learn This Product Tutorials. In this video, I will guide you with a step by step process on how to use our brand new feature called Digital Evaluation. To get started, let's log in. You will be taken to your dashboard. After that, click on Mock Test, click on Create, and type in the name. For the sake of this video, I will create it as Digital Evaluation. Click on the price. You can either make it free or you can type in your own price as well as you have to click on offline quiz. This will enable the feature digital evaluation. Once you click on create, you will be taken to this panel. Over here, you can either drag and drop the questions imported from the question pool or imported from either the word import or the excel import. Over here, you can type in your question as well as set the criteria for the evaluation as well as the percentage for this criteria. You can set the total marks of each question. Here is a sample question. What are the three laws of Newton? The answers are the first law, the second law and the third law. As well as the percentage is 33, 33, 33 which means that the total will come up to 100. Click on save and then exit. Let's add a couple of more questions. Once we have created the questions, let's click on Publish Status. Over here, you have to click on Generate the PDF. This says that your question paper is getting generated, you will receive an email notification in a few minutes. What this means is, learners will create a PDF for the students to access or download and then write the exam. After a few minutes of wait, your PDF will be generated. It says that generate PDF before publishing and then you'll have view PDF. You can view your PDF over here. It will show you the questions and how it will appear. This will be your university brand website. This will be your brand logo. This will be the test name. You can set the time allocated and total number of marks. As we have set 10 marks for each question, the total has come up to 30. Once that's done, let's click on next step. Over here, you have to set either the quiz is live or it's coming soon or it's scheduled. If it's scheduled, it'll appear only at that time. On the student side, it'll show that the test will be live on this time and it'll end at this time. For the sake of this video, let's click on live. You can also set the result schedule. Let's click on next step. Then publish. It says that the quiz is successfully published. And that's how we publish a test using digital evaluation. I'll be showing you how the students will look at your digital evaluated test. In the sense, our offline quiz feature. Let's start by logging into our student's account. Once you've logged into the student side, click on the test and click on enroll for free. Now let's click on take the test. This will be the instructions that you have put up beforehand. Let's click on start the test. Now click on download question paper. Over here you can see the questions which the students can also see and write down or download the same. Once the students have completed answering the questions they can upload it either by dragging and dropping the file or clicking on upload answer sheet. Once that is done they have to click on submit the quiz. Now you have to assign an evaluator to evaluate the test. Once you have logged into your admin panel go to manage Click on answer review and you'll find the quiz that has been answered. Once you have clicked on the test, you'll be taken to the learners who have already answered the test. Over here, you can assign it to someone else for evaluation or you, or you can evaluate yourself. I'll show you how to evaluate yourself first and then I'll show you how to assign an evaluator. Once you have clicked on the learner, you'll be taken to this panel. Over here, you'll find the details of the test. For example, the number of sections, the questions as well as the total number of marks. You'll also find who submitted it and on what date, as well as the evaluation status. Click on Evaluate Answer Sheet. Over here you'll find the answers by the learners. You can use annotations, you can either use freehand or you can drop in text, as well as you can leave them a note. Let's check out freehand first. Let's say that this part is wrong. You can just mark it like this using the freehand. You can drop a text saying why it's wrong. Then you can leave them a note saying good job or any other remarks that you may have. You can also attach files as well as add signature or put a rubber stamp. For now I'll just put it as approved. Once that's done, make sure to click on evaluate. You can add a remark as well as upload the attachments. 
Once that's done, make sure to allocate the proper marks for the learners. You can also annotate the marks on the answer sheet as well. And then click on submit review. Once that's done, make sure to evaluate each and every question. Since this is one single test, you'll have multiple questions. You'll have to evaluate each and every question. Once that is done, click on publish. Over here, you can describe the learner's performance. Let's just say that they did an excellent job. And then click on publish evaluation. Once that is done, the status of the evaluation will show up as completed. And the evaluator name will be the same as the institute name since I have not assigned it to someone else. Now I'll show you how to create an evaluator to evaluate the test. Go to sub-admins, add sub-admin, create a name, drop in their email id as well as a password and then you'll have to create a phone number for them. Over here you can set what kind of a sub-admin they are. For the purpose of digital evaluation, you have to click on evaluator. Once that is done, you'll have to add a product for them to get the notification for. Since we are using digital evaluation, click on that and click on add product. Or just click on save and next. Over here you'll have a preview on what they have access for. Click on finish. Once that is done, you'll find the name of the sub-admin in the sub-admin panel. Once you've added the sub-admin, go to manage, go to answer reviews, click on the test. Go to Assign for Evaluation. Over here you'll find the evaluator's name. Click on that and click on Save and Next. You can either assign a particular learner to that evaluator or you can add all the learners to that evaluator. For the sake of this example, we only have one learner. Click on that, click on Save and Next. Once that is done, you'll have a preview on what you have assigned and who you have assigned that to. After that, click on Save and Publish. It will be the same process for the evaluator as well. They will have to log into their admin panel, go to answer reviews, go to the test, click on the learner, evaluate the answer sheet, then publish. Now I will show you how it appears on the student side. Once a student has logged in, they will have to click on the test name and see the result. Over here you can see the marks that they have scored. They can either go to the discussions, go to bookmarks, retake the tests or view results. Let's click on view the results. So this will give them the analytics of how they have done on the test. Let's click on view answer sheet and click on open. If the student is not satisfied with their evaluation, they can apply for evaluation over here. If the student has applied for re-evaluation, on the admin panel, it will show the status as re-evaluation. Once the re-evaluation is done, they can go to results, view answer sheet and click on open. Once they are satisfied with the evaluation, they can click on close and see the results. That concludes this walkthrough of digital evaluation. Thank you.